Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. We're just sat here having a coffee by we, I mean Kate and myself, she's just over there. And uh, we're just thinking about making dinner. It's been a little bit chaotic since I've been back from all the travels. So I did California, then I've been to Florida again since then. And as you will have seen from the title of this video, we are also moving house. So it's been very, very crazy just trying to pack things up. We haven't got the exact date that we're moving yet, but it is gonna be soon. So we've been trying to kind of sort things out, box things up, and you end up just in this limbo phase that can be quite tricky. So we're just sort of navigating that. And on that note, I just want to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is HelloFresh. HelloFresh has been amazing for us at the moment because we obviously don't want to have loads of stuff in store cupboards and in the fridge and things like that. So HelloFresh is perfect because then we don't have any food waste and we don't have stuff building up that we're then gonna have to do something with it when we're moving. So we're gonna be having a HelloFresh meal this evening. I'll show you in a second the recipe card that we're gonna be using. And you guys know that I love HelloFresh. You'll have seen them in my vlogs before. They send you your box and you can choose how many people, how many meals. So whether you've got two or three or four of you, however many people. And if you're having extra people maybe around for dinner one evening, you can have one of the meals to be extra just for that one. So it's very, very flexible. You can use the app to choose which meals that you want. They have loads of options. We really love the vegetarian ones. We don't eat a lot of meat at home, so they're really great. And yeah, just love it. It's perfect for us at the moment, especially. And when they send you the box, everything's packaged up individually in the bags. So you can just grab your recipe card, grab the bag, and off you go. It's very, very easy. They have lots of different options as well. So if you're watching your nutrition and things, it says all of the information on the card. You can pick meals specifically that are a bit lower in calories as well, which is great. And the quick recipes are great, 20 minutes. If time is an issue for you, then they're super, super quick to make as well. And HelloFresh currently have a great offer for you guys. If you use my code Victoria in detail 50 and there's also a link in the description, I'll put the code in there as well, then you can get 50% off your first box, 35% off your next three, and three free gifts. So perfect time to try it out. I absolutely love it. And this is our chosen recipe for today. We're gonna to be having pea, mushroom, and onion marmalade linguine. So this is recipe card 17. So it's always got the number at the top. And then you can just grab the corresponding number out of the fridge, 17, and then you are good to go. The other recipes that we chose are garlic portobello mushroom nanzia, which looks good. Then also a mushroom and a bacon risotto and an oven baked ratatouille risotto and my favorite recipes with hellofresh like i was saying we don't eat a lot of meat are the risottos and the pasta dishes they are always my favorites they always have been so i'm excited to make this one i haven't had this particular one before no oh, we've lost our grater before we've even started kate's here so uh yes she's going to be cooking a si who's assistant and who's chef we're kind um, of both I don't make a very good assistant, so I'll be the chef. She's in charge, I'm doing the, the kind of chopping and whatever else needs doing. Once we find our grater. And Jet is um, helping by being stood right here. <laughs> Have you got a baby? She's waiting for any scraps to fall. Yeah, she's definitely waiting to see if anything falls. Hello. Right, we have pasta is cooking in there. And we have prepped ingredients over here. We've got garlic, shallot, chives, and Kate's just chopping a few of the mushrooms that are a bit bigger. And um, the rest in there are fine. And then we're going to make the sauce next, I think. And we've now got shallots and mushrooms in the pan. And in a second, we need to add the garlic and the onion marmalade. Then you add in the chives and eventually we'll put the creme fraiche in there as well to make a creamy kind of mushroom sauce. It smells really good. You can really smell that onion marmalade, I think, and maybe the yeah. shallots too. Okay, now we're going in with both types of cheese and then we're gonna put our pasta in. If it's a little bit too thick, it says at this point you can just add a little bit more water. And this is basically done now, so we're just gonna divide this between the bowls and then you put the remaining chives on top. Okay, so a bit of a chivey sprinkle on these and then we'll compare it to the menu card see how we did it looks pretty good to me so here is our menu card and here is our pasta i think that looks good i think we did pretty well i think we did good there okay taste test time i've got a bit of all of the components on here so let's try this oh that is really good actually it's very cheesy i love a cheesy pasta <laughs> that was really really nice so what did you think i was really impressed yeah the thing i liked most about it was that it was quick and it was easy, which prevented us from getting a takeaway on this occasion. Yeah. Like, literally, it was done and cooked, 
before you'd have even finished ordering a takeaway or deciding on one pretty much so yeah, i was really impressed with it it was tasty um and healthy yeah it was less than 20 minutes i would say to yeah. make that really really quick yeah, so exactly the kind of food we like to eat yeah yeah it was really good yeah, I really enjoyed it. It tasted really great. Everything I've had from HelloFresh, to be honest, I've always enjoyed. And also, you can skip it. So if you have, like, you're going away or something, you have a week coming up where there's loads going on, you can skip your week if you need to. You can control everything from the app. So definitely be sure to check out the offer. Like I said, it's 50% off your first box. So that's a great offer to give it a try. 35% off the next three and three free gifts as well. So use the code and click on the link in the description. That will take you to HelloFresh. So you can and take advantage of good morning it is now the next day and today i am seeing becky she's just on her way around here now and because we're moving soon i figured it'd be good to go for a browse around some home stuff so we're going to go to the range we're going to grab a starbucks maybe go to dunelm we'll see how we feel when we're out and about i love having a browse around those places they may even have their christmas stuff out now that halloween is over i don't know we'll see when we get there i do like the general color scheme that i have i have kind of like a copper rose gold and pale pink vibe going on and a bit of gray in there as well well. I could do with a new duvet cover so that's something that I'm going to be looking for today but I just like having a general browse around those places. I just find it's a really nice thing to do. I don't think the weather is great in fact I think it's raining so I'm going to go and grab an umbrella before we get going. Oh we've got a rainbow. Probably isn't doing it justice on camera you can't really see it very brightly but it is there. This weather sucks. <laughs> so bad. So we've just been sat outside HomeSense for like 10 minutes waiting yeah, for them to open. It was like 20 past 10. We've just realised they open at 11 so so we are now kind of just sat there like lemons and uh, they're not opening for another half an hour. So we're gonna go and get coffee, probably a drive through Starbucks or Costa, they're both in the same general area. So that's super annoying. Yeah. We were just discussing, I swear it used to be half 10. It definitely did, yeah. definitely did. Yeah. When I used to work day. in retail back in the day, I swear I used to have to be at work on a Sunday at like 10 or something. But anyway, we'll go and get our coffee first. So we arrived at the drive through and it's closed for some reason, which is weird, isn't it? Satan. Yeah, they should, they'd actually put a chair in the like driveway thing, a fabric chair and it's absolutely it's boring it we're hoping that chair was already broken but anyway we went in it's absolutely so busy in there like i've never seen anything like it but we have christmas cards they're so cute they're really cute we actually almost got taken in they had um christmas decorations in there the like the little cups the takeaway cups and also um, a little keychain with the Christmassy designs. And we were, we resisted, but we kind of <laughs> wanted them. They're really nice. So we're gonna have this in the car because it was so, so busy in there to sit down. And then we're gonna head into the range because that's right here and then back to Home Sense and Dunelm. But this rain needs to, needs to stop. It's horrible. It's so, so rainy. It's been like this for about, a week, ten yeah. days, I've got on and off. To do, and I need to cut the yeah. I need to cut the lawn. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's been really, really bad. Okay, we're in the range. This mirror is very bougie with this bow. I'm not sure if you. Oh, you can buy the bow. So it's basically a giant bow. For you, it says door bow. Oh, I see. You put it on your front door. That get wet though. Or you could put it on a big gift. I suppose that's what they're demonstrating <laughs> here. Do you quite like this to go above my desk? It's got a grey frame which kind of matches my desk, and it's a whiteboard. I do have my planner, but I quite like a bigger sort of visual. So I'm thinking about that, that's 6.99. I quite like these wooden things, like at Christmas, you can put them on your table and then put kind of Christmassy candles on and stuff. See, I'm getting into the Christmas mood. Oh no. He's had a bit of an accident. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. He's sad. <laughs> There's a completely random gnome just <laughs> in among everything else there. Just hiding out. I do quite like that to put your post in. Maybe if you have like a key dish. I really like this kind of blingy. I'm not a huge fan of the knob. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, but just the concept. Yeah, cool. I have had one. I have never used it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I feel like I would use it. But then how many times do you feel like you're gonna use something and then you don't? Just above the shelf, someone has spelled out something very funny with letters, but I'm not gonna put it on the vlog because family friendly, but uh, it was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. They do have this thing to put letters in, but also to hang your keys on. Oh, look at this frog, I love that. That's very cute. Oh, I like these. These are similar to the candles I've got, but they're in glass jars. However, I did think they were pink. This looks pink, but when I've just looked in the box, they're actually white. Do you quite like these flowers? And I've got a little pink vase. I forget where I bought it. It might even have been here. But I do need some little flowers to go in, and I quite like these. And maybe if I got a few kind of creamy white ones as well. I'm struggling to find the duvets. I think we're in the right area. We've got fitted sheets here. Anything? Oh yeah, they've got, I think there's a few more around the corner. None of these seem the right colour. Right, we've decided that this is not allowed. That's horrible. 
No, why would you do that? No. I love this bag. That's amazing. So we've now got to Home Sense, and I love these Martha Stewart baubles. I love the colour. They're so nice. If we weren't moving house, I would be the kind of person who would have my tree up already. I am definitely that person, and I'm loving all these decorations. This bauble is extremely fancy, but it's not focusing. I'm liking the Christmas stegosaurus. Oh, what have you? Look. Christmas stegosaurus. Oh, he's cute. He's a wool decoration. I like him. Yeah, that one is super fancy. I like the colours in that one. Yeah, that's nice too. Oh, I like the Christmas Lego, so I wish I could make that. Yeah, you could. You do that. What is it called? Felting? Yeah. Yeah, those ones are nice too. That's like a slightly different type of green. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be looking at home stuff, and all I'm doing is looking at Christmas stuff. Quite Classic. Like that. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I like that. Becky spotted this. It's a Minnie Mouse phone or controller holder. So you can need she can either hold your phone. That's actually quite cute, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That'd be a nice little desk accessory. Sixteen ninety nine. Although my phone, it would totally cover her I if I had it up it that, that way. way. But I feel like I would want it up that yeah. way. Yeah, I think. She could hold my switch controller though. Mm -hmm. They've got some really, really nice puzzles in here. If you're looking for Christmas present ideas, these puzzles are all $7.99. They've got this Disney orchestra one, which I think we could imagine that'd be quite complicated to do. Then they've got this Harry Potter one down here, and also this Minnie and Mickey one, which is super cute as well. So yeah, for $7.99, they're actually really good Christmas gifts. And they also have this Pixar one as well. That's very cool. Look at sadness on the end there. <laughs> So we found the duvets in Home Sense. I'm just having a look. I can't see any of the right colour yet. Definitely looking for like a pale pink type colour. So we're just in Dunelm now in their little cafe having some lunch. And they said they don't do food, like as in jacket potatoes and hot food, after 12. But they don't open till 11. So from that we're deducing that you can get food for an hour. That doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure that they're just not doing it today or something and they're telling a fib. But just say, say like the kitchen's closed or something. It's a super weird like, how can they possibly serve food for an hour in the morning? It's a good sandwich. Yeah, you've got a breakfast sandwich and I have... It's egg on the front and it's got egg in it. Oh, has it got egg? Do you not like egg? No. Oh no. This is not a good food day. Or maybe I just didn't look very well. Is it like scrambly egg? Yeah. Can you pick it out? Yeah. yeah. It's fine, I can pick it out. <laughs> We're now checking out the bedding in Dunelm. I've not had much luck so far. They do seem to have a bigger range, mm -hmm. but again, this is not quite the right colours. We were just cracking up. Becky was like, what on earth is a face rug? But it's that's what they mean by that. I was also confused at first. I thought a face rug was some kind of... I was like, what? Well, I thought, well, it is going to be quite soft on your face. <laughs> That's not what they mean. Yeah. Okay, we're in the right colour area. I'm not sure though that any of these are going to be it. I don't want butterflies or birds. Oh yeah, that's more their curtains though. But oh. do they have the duvet? <laughs> there is a lot of stock issues we've noticed with stuff. Like they don't have the, the double duvet cover in a lot of them. Oh, what's this one? That one there is quite nice. Okay, we're all done at Dunelm. I couldn't film much in there because by the time we got to the checkout, I had so much stuff. I'm going to do a little haul video when I get back to show you guys what I got. And we're just stopping off somewhere to get some milk because we're totally out of milk as well. And um, then Becky's heading off for the afternoon to do some other things. And I am going to be... What am I going to be doing this afternoon? I need to sort out my Pandora bracelet. Oh, blind. Oh, oh my I'm gosh. doing a double Davide. Yeah, right. Becky. Becky is doing, I don't know if you can see that, but she's totally doing a double Davide. It's very, very sunny. Considering the weather this morning was awful, this is actually like really, really sunny and bright now, but yeah. Becky hates the double Davide, but you just have, you have to <laughs> just, have to you have, have to embrace to it. it. You have yeah. to. Hey everyone, so it is now the next day and I've had my hair done this morning, just in case anyone's thinking it looked slightly different. I've just had my um, colour done. And I just wanted to show you a quick haul of the things I bought while I was out with Becky yesterday. I didn't get loads, but I got a few things I thought I would just show you. I'll start with the things I got from Dunelm. So first up, I got a sheet, very, very boring. It's just a fitted one um, in a pale pink, just because I need another one of those. And the bedding I decided to go for in the end was this one which is the grey and pink I'll show you the back actually you can see it a bit better on there just trying to avoid the glare on the packaging yeah so you can kind of get more of an idea what it looks like from that picture and also from there I picked up this if you have never tried this method rhubarb fragrance cleaner before it's just like a general all-purpose anti-back cleaner so you can use it in like the bathroom and the kitchen but the smell is so good 
of this rhubarb one they do it in a floor cleaner as well and i just love it in the bathroom especially so i got some of that and i also just got those little cloths that i used for cleaning the pandora bracelet and from the range i picked up these flowers to go in the little pink vase that i have and i did grab these white ones as well i'll need to weigh cut these down because they're on like a long stem but i just thought with the vase being pink it might be too much pink so i got some white ones as well to go with it and i got this throw which i've already got on my bed it is so cozy i think i did actually say in the vlog that i was picking this up i can't remember but oh my gosh it's so nice i love it so i've got that at the end of the bed and then from home sense i got this big pack of hangers i really really love these velvety ones because i wear a lot of stuff that's off the shoulder they just slide right off of coat hangers it's really annoying in your wardrobe everything falling off but they stay on perfectly on these i've already got quite a few but i want to replace all of my other hangers with these because i just really like them and i think it was was it 10 yeah 9.99 for the pack of 25 which i didn't think was too bad and i also got this box of gift tag to be honest it was mainly because i love that little christmas tree with the smiley face but i do love the others too and i did get a couple of other bits from there but i can't show them because they were christmas gifts just like books and things like that for people and it's just suddenly dawned on me that i haven't sorted out my eyebrows this morning you might remember i had the microbladed which i love you don't really need to put anything on them but what i do have to do is just get a cotton bud with some micellar water to get the foundation off so you can kind of see here like it's covered up with foundation and i forgot to do that this morning so give me two seconds and then you'll be able to just see the difference and there we go it's done i don't know how much difference you guys will be able to tell on camera like i was saying i don't put anything on them but if you wear foundation or concealer you do just need to uh wipe off any that's gone on there otherwise it kind of covers up the microblading but i am really pleased with them i got them done i guess it was what march this year yeah probably march so months and months ago it lasts about two two and a half years i think before you need to get it topped up it is one of the best things i've done because i don't have to now pencil them or do anything which used to take quite a bit of time so yeah if anyone's ever wondered about microblading it is kind of pricey but it does last a long time and it is totally worth it so the reason i have these little cleaning cloths has to do with my pandora bracelet so for my birthday lisa bought me a new safety chain because i've got so many charms on here now you really should have a safety chain so that if the clasp on the bracelet fails then the charms don't fall off and it shouldn't just immediately all fall off your wrist basically but I forgot that to put the safety chain on you actually have to take off all of the charms because one end of it obviously goes here and the other end goes on the other end of the bracelet so all of these need to come off and a few of them if you look up close let me just see if I can get in a bit closer they just need a bit of a polish some of them do look a little bit dull like that one on top so I've just got these little cleaning cloths I'm going to take the charms off clean them as I go and then I'm going to put the safety chain on and this is what the safety chain looks like it just says Pandora on either end and just has a little chain bit here so basically if the clasp opens then this kind of hangs on to either end so it is quite important to have one once you have a lot of charms I guess there's more chance of it opening because of the weight and also you've just got more to lose off the bracelet if it did fall off or something so I'm going to do that now and give them all a little clean also I don't know if you can see this little pink mark here I had a blusher explode this morning you know when either an eyeshadow or a blush just crumbles and falls apart and it went all over my bedding which I've just put on clean so I was not impressed with that hence why I'm going to be putting the new bedding on so I've taken all the charms off and I've attached the safety chain at this end so now I need to put everything else back on and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you the Disney charms properly I don't know if I've already done this in a vlog so apologies if I have but I don't remember showing you properly I might have shown you kind of briefly on the bracelet I have this one which is Spaceship Earth with the monorail going through it that's one of the park exclusives then I have this one which is the mini ears this is a more recent one I got from Disneyland this this one represents Disney's California Adventure Park with the big wheel. I have this Aladdin one. Then I have my little Toy Story alien. And this is the castle from Disneyland. You can get one from each of the parks and it says Disneyland on the bottom. I do want to get a Disney World castle as well. Then I have Jiminy. I've had this one for a really long time. I do love it, but his little foot gets caught on everything. It is quite irritating, but I do love him, so I don't want to take it off. And my most recent Disney one is this Winnie the Pooh one. And underneath it says, it's not what we have, but who we have. That is super cute. And then it's got Winnie and Piglet on there. So I'm going to get all of these back on and then the bracelet will be good to go. So it's all done now. And I just wanted to undo the bracelet to show you what the safety chain basically does. So if the clasp was to fail and open up like this, it kind of still stays on and all the charms don't fall. So that is the purpose of the safety chain. And the other thing I just wanted to show you, if you watched my shopping in Orlando video that I put up a few days ago now, 
I've now got the little bookmarks on. I love these metal ones because they don't get messed up if you throw this in a bag. If these were cardboard, even if they were kind of good quality, I feel like they would get really messed up. But because they're metal, they just don't kind of get any damage, which is good. And I also just wanted to show you that the sticky pocket did fit perfectly in the back of the planner. I love that it's a similar kind of colour blend look to the cover and I can fit a few stickers in there. I did have to cut them down so this sheet was actually bigger but in order to just fit a few of them in I've just cut a couple of my little sticker sheets that I'm likely to use for personal stuff. I've just got like lunch date here and they fit really nicely into the back and that doesn't make it bulky at all so really really pleased with that. I think I might end up cutting this ribbon thing off though because I've got these um metal bookmarks I just don't think I need that and it's kind of annoying just floating around. Hey everyone so I'm filming this last clip on my phone I just realized I haven't ended this vlog so I just wanted to do that it's now the next day and I'm at Becky's you can probably see I'm somewhere different and today has been a day it's been one of those where everything from the first moment I woke up <laughs> That's been going wrong. I was saying to Becky, you know when you kind of have one of those where you go to pick something up and it drops on the floor and then you go to take something out of a cupboard and it falls out on you and then your belt loop gets stuck on the door handle just when you're already enraged. It's kind of been one of those. I went into town earlier to meet my friend and then I couldn't park and I was like, it's, it's definitely been a day today. The reason I'm at Becky's, I am using her computer to edit. I've had further problems with the laptop. I don't know how much I updated you on that situation. It went for a pair before I went to Florida and that was quite difficult because I had to get everything done. Again, I borrowed Becky's computer then and I've had it back and it still isn't right. It's had to go for a pair again. I've got so much editing to do, so Becky has very kindly um, let me use hers. But I have found myself, um, the same one that Becky has, it's a Mac Mini. And um, Becky bought hers secondhand a couple of years ago and it's been amazing. And I've actually found one for sale literally around the corner from where I live. Um, so I think I'm gonna buy that because it's so much better than my laptop has ever been, even when it was brand new. And I do need something a bit more reliable to edit. So I'm picking that up tomorrow. That's gonna resolve the problem. And I already feel less kind of vexed because I'm gonna have that to do the rest of my editing, even when the laptop comes back. I can then use that just for when I'm traveling and stuff. So it's been a bit of a crazy one today, but I just wanted to finish this vlog and obviously say thank you to you guys as always for watching. I'm gonna keep you updated on our move and what's happening with that. Hopefully, fingers crossed that will be soon. And don't forget to take advantage of the HelloFresh offer. Just click the link and use my code Victoria in detail 50. It's a really great offer. So don't forget to check that out. And just a huge thank you to you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, both here and over on Disney in detail as well. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one.